380 years ago, a Portuguese trading ship met her fate and sank in Tranganu waters off the east coast of Peninsular Malaysia. She was laden with blue and white Chinese porcelain destined for Europe, where this particular type of ware was so popular in the early 17th century. There's evidence she may have exploded before sinking. Whatever befell her, this is all that remains. A mound of pottery lying on the seabed, most of it broken, some pulverized. From the secret recesses and sanctuary of the seabed, some treasures have survived. The Wan Li shipwreck is one of nine historical shipwrecks that span a millennium of history and whose cargoes have survived the ravages of time, trawler nets, and looters. Sten Schostrand has been an avid collector of ceramics for more than 20 years. It's this interest and his success as an innovative marine designer that has allowed him to fulfill what most people only dream about. He is a man that lives his passion. Over the last 10 years, Sten and his team have been patiently combing a particular stretch of this sometimes perilous sea, looking for wreck sites. He has found nine historical shipwrecks that date from AD 960 to AD 1830. Each shipwreck is given a name, sometimes based on the location it went down, and sometimes after the Chinese emperor reigning at the time. Each, each shipwreck will give us a specific date when looking at the pottery, comparing the pottery with other similar style pottery made earlier or later in time. Another factor to help us date a shipwreck is using ship's wood. Carbon-14 dating gives us a sort of a starting point for dating a shipwreck. We want to know and we want to study from shipwrecks maritime trade, extent of maritime trade, the ceramics, the ceramics developments, and the shipbuilding aspects. How did that change? All those factors, how did it change between the 14th and 19th century? How was it, Stan? Tell me all about it. I knew you were gonna be there. There's a shipwreck down there. There is a shipwreck. The Wan Li shipwreck, circa 1625, named after the Chinese Emperor Wan Li, who reigned from 1573 to 1620, was a rare find indeed. It dates from the time the European merchants entered Asia's maritime trade and began supplying their domestic markets with Asian products. For centuries, trading ships sailed the Nanhai, now called the South China Sea, as they followed the maritime equivalent of the Silk Road that connected China with the rest of Asia and beyond. By the 15th century, Malacca had become the most prosperous trading port along that route. All along the route, Chinese ceramics and other goods like silk were traded for regional indigenous goods that were regarded as luxury items in China. The Asian maritime silk route depended on the monsoon seasons. Ships sailed from China and Southeast Asia during the Northeast monsoon, returning six months later, their sails full of southwesterly winds. Winds often fraught with many dangers. Storms took their toll on these ships, sending in uncharted waters with limited navigational aids and dangerous coral reefs caused many to perish. Fires were a common cause. War, piracy, and sometimes the bad condition of the ships themselves may have led to their sinking.